Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Bobo's World with me, Bobo. And today, we're going to be finishing off the courthouse. Yeah, so if you missed last episode, I pretty much built this thing minus the roof because I ran out of nether brick. But I went out to another fortress and raided it for some brick or some blocks. And of course, I'm going to turn these into slabs to extend the life of them. Um, but, um, yeah. I think I shall get to building this. I don't think I'm going to time lapse this because time lapses are a lot of work and I don't feel like doing a lot of work. Um, so, oh yeah, I shall get to doing that and see you in a bit. All right, so I am back and um, the roof is is on and I have no idea why you're using so much CPU right now um Mr. Video Recording Software but uh, it looks like you've even out. all right um so yeah it is finished um I did add the direct or andesite strip right there um and I like it. I think it looks a lot better. Um, just a lot more. I don't know. Continued from the bottom. Then let's head on inside. Um, I got a sectional wall done. So this is kind of what the wall design is going to be. Um, then this. This is what we're going to be building in here. I'm like. What should we do with this building? Because it's it's a building and I, I grew a bunch of spruce trees because I need spruce wood to gather all of that or do you know, fill in. So I think I got plenty of wood once I harvest these guys up. Um but that that you shall see. Um because I didn't want this to just be a building that, you know, I just decorate nicely on the inside. I wanted this to be actually useful. And this will be. Um, this is going to be a certain machine that I think I'm going to be using quite a bit in this series. So yeah, I shall build that. Well, I, I'm going to build the room. Um, get the ceiling. I don't know what I'm doing for the ceiling quite yet. Um, I have sort of an idea, but we shall see. We shall see. So, um, I'm going to get some work done, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. It is done, including the ceiling. Um, maybe drop a chandelier or two, um, down. Um, but... You know the ceiling's pretty plain, but you're not supposed to look at ceilings anyway. Um, but yeah, so got the floor to do, but eh, probably work on the little contraption that's going to go in here. And well, based on the amount of red sandstone we need, and how red sandstone or red sand, it's kind of rare. And since there's this lovely red sand converter going around, um, I think, I think we're going to be making one of those. So, um, let me go find the Azuma tutorial and I'm going to build it. Then bring you guys back. Um, we're going to put a floor in after that, and I think that will be about, I don't know. But um, we've got a few more aesthetic things to do around here as well. So, yeah, but time to get the main reason we're building this thing in. So I shall build that, and I shall see you guys in. All right, so I'm back, and... We are converting regular sand into red sand. Um, and yeah, so 
put regular sand in, redstone sand came out. Of course, this is a um, contraption by, I believe, Azuma. Um, I think somebody else came up with the idea for it, but he made the little contraption. So we can just put our... I think we have to keep at least one to start off. Then we just place one, it shoots out another one, place one. And happy days. So, um, now I have all the red sand I could ever need. Um, place that back in there. Um, but this floor, it's grass. And that's atrocious. I mean, I was out by the mesa to pick up a little, the piece of red sandstone I needed. So, I mean, I figured I'd also grab some clay while I was out there. And, uh, yeah, we're building... Oh, there's a little pond um, that was here. So we're going to just take out the floor. Like it is so. There's a cave there, apparently. Eh, eh, let's be cheap. Um... Looks like I fell down there. Had a pillar myself back up in a few of these places. Um, but yes. So this should be a very nice and useful machine um, for getting roofing materials, basically. All right. So let's, um, definitely feel the frame drop when I'm recording. <laughs> um, but I think I'm still making 30 FPS, so that's fine. Um, all right. So that looks to be about everything minus this little bit did I go yes um all right so let's just where is the middle because I'm not quite I don't well I mean we can just use that is one middle, and I think that actually works out fairly decently. And this as another, let's toss a few torches down so y'all can see. Piece of dirt to jump over. Um, boom. So we got the reds. Then let's go with maybe a white. White stained clay next. Um, um, I thought I'd just show you guys floor design. Um, should really go out to the mesa a bit more and gather up some more clay because it's a good flooring material. Um, in terms of Roman style stuff um, because you know there's different colors it's not super distracting it's um, obviously like the red is obviously a bit more distracting than say this white but um, um, as a whole clay is not it's fairly pastel um, I think it's the right word to use there in its coloration, maybe some orange stained clay. Um, uh, about fell in there. And I think let's actually head over to the storage room. 
because I think I'll use some sea lanterns in the little, um, well, I don't know what to call them. Sea lanterns. I got a few. I know I have more over at my, the, um, farm. If I ever need to go there. Did I show you this? Um, I don't know. Um, I did took andesite around the border there. No, I show you this part. Um, forgot to show you that part then. But yeah, andesite. Nice stuff. But in like this place, um, just put sea lanterns in. Give this room a lot more light. Um, so the sea lantern should go there and there. Um, fun times. All right. Take this, um, and, um, ooh, a nice brown, maybe? Very stripy floor. Um, finish it off with some regular clay in the corners. And, ooh, ooh, that, that's quite bright, but I like it. Um, I think it think it works um I think yeah I have more I was like ew I'm running out oh wait I have more never mind um all right that is that definitely is working out for me yeah so um um, what to do there, though? Um, maybe just get a uh, brown. Um, four in here. Oop, like, at least on my side. Which is kind of weird. Um, my computer should be able to handle this, I mean don't really have anything else running in the background so weird um by the way link to Azuma's channel and how to build this will be in the description um specifically just um how to build the contraption I have no idea why I said it like that but okay um And this can be a room of sorts and maybe put some white. Oop, don't have enough white. <laughs> maybe we'll just do that and do orange. That's dirt. Silly, silly me. All right, so we have a nice little, maybe. Ah, uh, that's a little bit more centered. Then we'll just take the regular hardened clay. And do that, and I think that looks pretty good. Can take that guy out. Um, Obviously got some more stuff to do around. So, um, but, but the purpose, and, yeah, that doesn't look very structural, so let's take some red sand. This is the smooth stuff, like that, um, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Ooh, and that looks much more structurally sound. Um, then I can just come up here whenever I need 
pull a little piece out. Just be like, oh, I need some red sand. Um, let's push AFK here for a little bit. Um, and yeah. Toss that back in because don't want it. We got a nice red sand generator, sort of converter. But anyway, um, I got some more stuff to do specifically out here. Um, make this area nice. Um, um, and I shall do that, and I shall get back to you. So I'll see you guys. In All right, so. Here it is, um, and it's full glory. I put didn't do much. Um, for here, I just kind of put little guys in or little path in, little mob-proof door, and you're inside. Um, doorway might come back and put some little um stairs. Um, make it more doorish. Um, but for now thought I could do is kind of take some of this andesite out and replace it with sea lanterns um, so we don't have torches all around um, Because I find that seed lanterns work a lot better than glowstone because they're not as jump out of a texture. Like, they're nice, subtle, white-ish. And no, the little cyan parts aren't super noticeable, so... Yeah, see, that looks like 10 billion times better. Um, and that just was taking out torches and replacing them with seat lanterns, which is something we can do now. But, um, okay, so let's quickly jump into spectator mode, um, and just kind of give you the fly around of the courthouse. All right, let's zoom down inside. Uh, do, do, do. Epic music playing. All right. Um. So yeah. Um. Uh, back to what or er, S. Um. All right. Let's flip around. That's not flipping around. All right. So. I've been Bobo. This has been Bobo's world. If you liked the video, make sure to like button. If this is your first video you've seen of mine, um, and you want to see more in the future, be sure to subscribe. If you have any comments, be sure to leave them down in the comment section. Um, uh, all my info is down in the description, so go check that out. Also, Azuma's video showcasing how to build one of these red sound converters is also going to be in the description, as well as all the rest of the Jumbo Jumbo crafters and where I get my music for my time lapses from. Um, so yeah, and I'll see y'all later.